Um, bo 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 bo. Berg. Do I? Do I? Do I? I don't even know. What do I? Nah. Fish. Need to feed my fish. Well, I don't actually need to. I just want to. You're not exactly really engaged in getting your food, are you? Oh well. Whatever. Um. Boop, boop, boop. I do miss my space hamster, though. And oh, that's kind of shiny. It's actually revolving. Cool. And I missed the rest of my ships though. I know I had more of them. Just don't know where they are anymore. Yay! New music! <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Um, didn't I get... Get, get, get other things? Um, power recharge and everything. <laughs> that kind of looks Tron-esque. That was kind of cool. Power damage and power recharge. I don't really do that much power damage, do I? I suppose might actually up the damage on my sh after I shoot them from shield? I don't even know anymore. Power regen, Ceres Council, Shield. Shield region is kinda nice. I don't. They looked kinda cool, but I don't really need that. The question is do I really need that? Because I don't like the look of that one. I do like the look of that one, but again, I'm not sure I do need that all that power damage. Looks kind of cool though. Let's try that on for size, just because I think it looks cool. Um, weapon damage. Those don't look cool at all. <laughs> Weapon damage can nice, but I, I, I'm probably gonna miss all the health boosts. So. I do kinda like that one as well. Let's try that one for now. Let's do, go for that, see how that works out. Might uh, actually look a little bit cooler in the cutscenes without a proper helmet or whatever. Um, I don't think there's anything more I need to do down here, but I do want to check. Have I even been down here? I'm not even sure. Since we've got more people. Weapon bench! No, no I don't need that. Or do I? Actually, I did get a new sniper mod. Oh, it, it upgraded automatically? Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, and I don't really need to do anything. Awesome. Procurement. Vipers. Sniper rise and something. Or more medica. Open store? Ah, oh, nothing left. Uh, shotgun sniper rifle. Spectre armor. I want my black widow, you too. <laughs> oh, hello. Do you want? I wasn't aware that was there anyway. Um. I don't want to spend money on that because I do want my Black Widow. 
shotgun and pistol, step around with armor. The collector armor, no. I kind of like that I can go here and buy things as well. Um, don't really need melee damage, do I? I kind of want that one because it's kind of awesome. But... No. No. So where are the weapon damage? Increases run for magazines. No. I've already been to Certa. Um. No. No. That was the wrong button. <laughs> uh. No. No. Sniper with a high velocity barrel. Salt with a thermal scope. Shoulder guards. That could be useful though. Headshot damage is kind of nice, considering I do try to make headshots as often as I can. That was... yeah, that was the one we were in Elkos. Um, no. Cortez, what's up? Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Well, that sounds good. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. <laughs> Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. <laughs> How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight <laughs> deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Well, that doesn't sound too, too bad. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Huh. Well, I'm glad we don't have the hammerhead because that was kind of crap. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. <laughs> You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk Aww, about it. Aw, poor thing. 
That's a harsh thing. Oh well. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. <laughs> oh, poor thing. And just for the record, I do like that they made him actually openly gay. Like, I had a husband. It's no big deal. I love that. Oh, I can actually upgrade my stuff? Interesting. But is it worth it? That's the question. Should I wait? Are you K9? You little rascal, are you? This is so cute. Hey, James. What's up? Uh, hey, boss. Uh, so, that Turian's on board now, no? <sighs> that and Edie's got herself a shiny robot body. <sighs> what? <laughs> <sighs> she got that Cerberus bot and took it over. <sighs> You're shitting me. <sighs> I shit you not. <laughs> huh. <sighs> you down here for a reason? Or are you just looking? I'm just looking. I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. <laughs> <sighs> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> you already know my service record. <sighs> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. <laughs> right. <laughs> Forgot about that. <sighs> well... <sighs> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Yeah, sure. Oh, I can dance. Let's try this. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> what do you mean was died with most of my squad protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack and the colony it was either them or the intel we had on the collectors intel we could have used to destroy them I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Hmm. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. Hmm. You a shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Yes. Nice, Ogoshi. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. <laughs> I kind of like that. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> you're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. <laughs> Uh, for anyone who hasn't, go watch the uh, animated movie uh, because it tells about what happened to Vega and yeah, it's it's pretty gruesome. What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. <laughs> 
even more distracting. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Sorry, love. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a Lola, huh? <laughs> yeah, my best friend's sister growing up was Lola. Older sister. Hot. Tough. Right. <laughs> you mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? Aww. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. Yeah. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. <laughs> Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. <laughs> I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other? Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. <laughs> well, it looks like good camaraderie at least. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. Well, that's good. We all have a reason. And, yeah. I'll talk to you later. You bet. And you should actually clean up, because bleeding like that is not a very good thing. The SR1 model! Yes! Awesome. I don't think there's... You're kind of cute, you little doggy thing. Um... And speaking of K9, it is actually the day of the doctor today, so I will be heading to the cinema to watch that later, which is going to be exciting. But for now, let's see what else we can do over here. But, uh, oh, oh, Geth Cruiser, Alliance Cruiser, yes. I'm finding my models bit by bit, and I like it. There we go. Mm. Ah! Quarian mole as well. It's kind of hard now that you can't really see where things are because I relied a lot on that in um, Mass Effect 2. I have a really hard time seeing where I'm supposed to go and that kind of thing uh, a lot of the time, so... Um... Let's check out crew deck while we're at it as well. Um, just gonna... Yeah, I have time. Don't worry. As always, I have a bloody time limit. I don't mean to, but... I can't... No, that was the elevator, I saw. Never mind. See how Chakwas is doing? Commander? Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is yeah, okay. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. <laughs> I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. That's good. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time. Even given the amount of fire you take each day. <laughs> Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? 
We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. Good. You never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you are all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. That we do. No, we do. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Oh, that's good, though. There's nothing left in here. Nope. Nope. Um, I'm not sure if I talked to Garrus or not since we got him here. I think I did, but let's just... Oh, he's not... Where are you calibrating, then? You silly git. Um, I know you're off calibrating somewhere. Where are you? <laughs> Is Liorin? You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Aww. Hello again, Shepard. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. Hmm. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. <laughs> What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship, impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. <laughs> I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Ferron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Well, that sounds alright. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. It all sounds alright. Um... Let's see. Alliance interrogation record. Cerberus operative. Uh, um. But do 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 Oh. So basically, most of the Cerberus people are t 
terribly implanted with terrible shit. Fine. Um. <laughs> nice work, Kasumi. Nice work. Um. <laughs> Seems Jack is acclimatizing fairly all right. Um Aw, Kaylee just wants Anderson to take it. Nice, that's good. I guess. Oh well, that's nothing. Greetings, Commander. I'm just leaving. You don't need to greet me when I'm going out the door. Silly vi. I almost said silly vi. Wrong game. Um. This is so empty without Kasumi. Everything's empty without the old inhabitants. Gotten so used to them all. There's nobody here, is there? No. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> and, and I find it funny that you can't even walk into the men's restroom anymore. You could do that in the second game. That was kind of funny because Edie would go, the ladies room is on the other side. Uh, but I think we've talked to just about everyone except Joker and Edie by now. Let's just see how they are doing. Oh! You've actually got your own chair now. That's kind of cool. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. <laughs> how are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. Oh, poor Joker. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard. Do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Well, up to you. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Ah. Well, that's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Can I talk more to you? Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems, 
or anti-missile countermeasures. <laughs> I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. <laughs> oh, I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. <laughs> For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Well, that's good. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. That's good. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. That's good. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> nice wick joker. How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. That's good. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. <laughs> well, that's good. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. That's good. That's all good. Hey, Joker. Commander. You don't want... Commander. I. Rude. How's the ship running, Edie? I am updating the cyber warfare suite around our Reaper IFF. It should resemble Reaper code exactly. Well, that's good. Carry on. Carry on. Um... Let's see... Do, 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 do. Don't suppose... No. Nothing stowed in there. One could hope, one could hope. And... Nope. Nothing new there. Just gotta do that. Ah, oh, my nose is itchy. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. All the asses. Uh, need to go to Skepsis. Yes. Made it. Uh, we have 100% of our assets recovered. That's good. Um. Oh. <coughs> There we go. We have been there, we have been there. Let's just go the entire way around then, I suppose. I don't know, I suppose. And I don't even know anymore. Uh, shnikes. Let's 
Signal confirmed. Oh, they were close by. I do not approve of that. Too close. Too close. Um, credits? Yes. Credits. And that's 50% of assets. Nothing there. Oh shh, Nikes. Yeah. Just as much. Whoop. Reapers eluded. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, I don't really have that much fuel left. Crap runes. That's not good. Found something. Oh, hello. Oh, there's one as well. Faster than light jump successful. Holy sh Yeah. Oh, balls. Did I just strand myself? Because that would be bad. Yikes! So many of them! And they're all over the place! I can't get there, can I? Oh, hello! Let's get out of here! Reapers eluded. Shit! Excuse the language. Wow. That's harsh. That's really harsh. <laughs> Reapers everywhere. Shouldn't there be... Have we... Oh, that's what used to be Grissom Academy. There's nothing here, is there? No. No. No Reaper wants to be here anyway. Um, so of course there's nothing here. And... Let's go back to the Citadel. We need to refuel anyway. Um... 